First Chronicles chapter 1. The descendants of Adam were Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, and Noah. The sons of Noah were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The descendants of Japheth were Gomer, Magog, Medai, Javan, Tubal, Meshach, and Tiras. The descendants of Gomer were Ashkenaz, Riphath, and Togamah. The descendants of Javan were Elisha, Tarshish, Kitim, and Rodanim. The descendants of Ham were Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. The descendants of Cush were Sheba, Havilah, Sabta, Reama, and Saptika. The descendants of Reama were Sheba and Dedan. Cush was also the ancestor of Nimrod, who was known across the earth as a heroic warrior. Mizraim was the ancestor of the Ludites, Anamites, Lehabites, Naphtohites, Pathrushites, Kashluhites, and the Kaphtarites, from whom the Philistines came. Canaan's oldest son was Sidon, the ancestor of the Sidonians. Canaan was also the ancestor of the Hittites, Jebusites, Amorites, Girgashites, Hivites, Archites, Sinites, Arvadites, Zemarites, and the Hamathites. The descendants of Shem were Elam, Ashur, Afaxad, Lud, and Aram. The descendants of Aram were Uz, Hul, Gether, and Mash. Afaxad was the father of Shelah. Shelah was the father of Eber. Eber had two sons. The first was named Peleg, division, for during his lifetime the people of the world were divided into different language groups and dispersed. His brother's name was Joktan. Joktan was the ancestor of Almadad, Shilef, Hazarmaveth, Jira, Hadoram, Azul, Dikla, Obal, Abimeel, Sheba, Ophir, Havela, and Jobab. All these were descendants of Joktan. So this is the family line descended from Shem, Afaxad, Shila, Eber, Peleg, Reu, Sirug, Nehor, Tera, and Abram, later known as Abraham. The sons of Abraham were Isaac and Ishmael. The sons of Ishmael were Nebaioth, the oldest, Kedar, Adbil, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hedad, Tima, Jitur, Nefish, and Kidema. These were the sons of Ishmael. The sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, were Zimran, Jokshan, Midan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. The sons of Jokshan were Sheba and Dedan. The sons of Midian were Ephah, Epher, Henoch, Abida, and Eldar. All these were sons of Abraham by his concubine Keturah. Abraham was the father of Isaac. The sons of Isaac were Esau and Israel. The sons of Esau were Eliphaz, Reuel, Jeush, Jelam, and Korah. The sons of Eliphaz were Timon, Omar, Zepho, Getam, Kenaz, and Amalek, who was born to Timnah. The sons of Reuel were Nechath, Zira, Shama, and Misa. The sons of Seir were Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Ena, Daishon, Ezer, and Daishan. The sons of Lotan were Horai and Heman. Lotan's sister was named Timnah. The sons of Shobal were Alvan, Manahath, Ebal, Shifo, and Onan. The sons of Zibion were Eiah and Ena. The son of Ena was Daishon. The sons of Daishon were Hemdan, Eshban, Ethran, and Kiran. The sons of Ezer were Bilhan, Zeavan, and Ekan. The sons of Daishan were Uz and Iran. These are the kings who ruled in Edom before there were kings in Israel. Bela, son of Beor, who ruled from his city of Dinhaba. When Bela died, Jobab, son of Zerah from Bozrah, became king. When Jobab died, Husham from the land of the Temanites became king. When Husham died, Hadad, son of Bedad, became king and ruled from the city of Avith. He was the one who destroyed the Midianite army in the land of Moab. When Hadad died, Samla from the city of Masrika became king. When Samla died, Shaul from the city of Rehoboth on the Euphrates River became king. When Shaul died, Baal Hanan, son of Achbor, became king. When Baal Hanan died, Hadad became king and ruled from the city of Paul. 
His wife was Mehetabel, the daughter of Matred, and granddaughter of Mezahab. Then Hadad died. The clan leaders of Edom were Timna, Alva, Jetheth, Aholibama, Elah, Pinon, Kinaz, Timan, Mibzar, Magdiel, and Iram. These were the clan leaders of Edom.